What is up YouTube, it's Liam back here with another video and today we're going to be having a look at Android 7.1.1 Nougat on the Galaxy Tab A 8.0. Um, as you can see here, quite a bit has changed. I'll just go and show you the build number and everything. Um, okay, so it's uh, Android 7.1.1 Nougat, Samsung Experience version 8.5. Uh, that's the build number there. Um, yep, so on, so on. And we've got the... Uh, August 1st, 2017 security patch level, um, which may mean nothing to you, but it basically means that because um, when a new version of Android gets released, uh, a lot of security fixes get released with it and also a lot of um, bug fixes and stuff as well. So, yes, and as you can see here, also I've got the SM-T350, which is the Galaxy Tab A Wi-Fi model, not the Wi-Fi and 4G. Um now we'll start off with the home screen uh, in regards to watch change. So as you can see here, the icons look a little bit different from Marshmallow. They're a little bit more sort of cleaner, I guess you could say, a lot like the S8. Um, in fact, exactly the same as the S8, I would say. Um, now, one big change is that when you... Oh, hang on a second. When you long press on the home screen, you can see here you've got home screen settings. If you click on that... Um, you've got you can go into home screen layout which gives you the option to have all your apps in just on the home screen like on iOS or in a separate um, apps uh, sort of app screen like before um, now I've selected the home screen here just because I like the layout of that and it's a lot like iOS which is good it's a lot more clean and yeah um, also you can hide apps and stuff like that as well so which is really good um, but if I did want to enable the app straw, which I'm not going to, you would swipe up like, yeah, you would swipe up from the bottom here and you would see um, all your apps. But if you swipe up now, um, you've got search, a bit like iOS, and suggested apps as well. Um, now, the settings app has also changed a lot. It's a lot cleaner. Um, none of those sort of cartoony blue colours, which I really disliked. Um, and you can see you've got, yeah, different icons, um, a few more settings, for example, you've got tablet visibility, which allows other devices to see your tablet and transfer files to it. It's similar to AirDrop, but yeah, it's obviously not the same thing, but yeah. Um, you've also got, oh, that was all there before, so you've got near, uh, nearby device scanning, you've got printing and VPN. Uh, and for some reason, Ethernet's actually blanked out. Not sure why that is, but anyway. Um, a new addition to 7.1 is Samsung Cloud. Now, for some reason, this is a bit laggy. I think it's because I'm using the screen recorder, but yeah. Um, and Samsung Cloud, it's a lot like iCloud. It basically backs up your files stored on the device um, to the cloud. Um, so yeah, you've got here all the stuff that gets backed up. So you've got contacts, calendar, memos internet data, like history and stuff like that, keyboard data and gallery. Um, and you can also back up your settings. So yes, that is the settings app. Um, now, another thing that's changed is the notification shade. As you can see, it's a lot more cleaner, a lot more uniform. Um, and you've also got grouped notifications. So say if you get two Gmail notifications, you will see them grouped here instead of having two separate notifications. Um, Thought that would work with YouTube, but for some reason it didn't. Anyway, um, and then you can swipe down and you've got all these options, like toggles. Um, similar to what you had before, but they look a lot cleaner, which is really good. Um, I'm just trying to think of what else is new. Yeah, every single app has been updated. So the Files app, the Camera app. In fact, I'll show you the Camera app. It looks quite nice. It's a lot like the Galaxy S8. Um, yes, so... Um, also, a new addition to Android 7.1 is multitasking, like native multitasking. So instead of, because um, I remember before with TouchWiz, like you had multitasking, but it was very sort of slow and it bogged down the system a lot. So, but now what you can do is you can just sort of tap that there and then you can select another app. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot better than before. Um, now, like I said, I do apologise that it's so laggy. I think it's because I'm using a screen record recording app, 
and that's why. So, yes. Um, now, unfortunately, Google Assistant still isn't here. Um, you've still got Google now on tap, which I don't even use it, so that says a lot. Um, yeah, so... Um, and you've got a lot of under the hood things that you've got the Vulcan API, which I think is for gaming or something, I'm not too sure. Um, and a lot of optimizations like app, app optimizations, battery optimizations, um, stuff like that. Now, this update came in at about 1.5 gigabytes, and I updated using Samsung Smart Switch um, because the, uh, the uh, over the air update didn't actually come out. When I updated, I had to plug it into my laptop. So, yes. Um, so, guys, that is what's new in Android 7.1.1 Nougat. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you for watching.